In the ever-evolving world of commercial aviation, speculation about future aircraft is just a routine activity, from amateur av geeks all the way up to industry experts. One of the most intriguing what-ifs circulating in recent years is the possibility of an Airbus A390, a wide-body aircraft that, if ever developed, would likely follow in the footsteps of the Airbus A350 and perhaps even aim to fill the void left by the A380. This video explores what an A390 could represent, what factors would influence its development, what experts and industry trends suggest. We'll also examine how such an aircraft might stack up against today's and tomorrow's wide-body offerings. Though Airbus has not officially acknowledged any plans for a model named the A390, understanding of the landscape around it provides insights into what the future of long-haul flying might hold. So, again, we have to re-emphasize, Airbus has not confirmed the existence of any development program for an aircraft designated the A390. There are no regulatory filings, prototype sightings, or public statements that support the notion that such an aircraft is actively being designed. That said, the idea isn't out of place in Airbus's naming scheme. After the A380 and A350, the logical assumption would be that the A390 might follow perhaps as a next-generation wide body. Yet Airbus has thus far skipped numbers. For example, there is no A360 or A370. The plane maker has instead focused on evolving existing platforms like the A320 and A330 families with their NEO, new engine option, variants. The European giant is also experimenting with clean-sheet designs like the hydrogen-powered Zero-E concept, with no model names yet to be released for that series. Given that the A380 program ended in 2021, many speculate that Airbus might eventually want to re-enter the ultra-high capacity market with a more efficient alternative, especially as air travel rebounds and congestion at major hubs continues to grow. The decision to launch a new aircraft, particularly a wide body, involves a mix of technical, economic, and strategic factors. For Airbus to commit to an A390, several conditions would likely need to align. The absolute most important factor is market demand, whether airlines actually want and need a new large aircraft. The collapse of the A380 program showed that simply building the biggest plane doesn't guarantee success, Unless you're Emirates or global airlines, the majority of carriers today tend to prefer twin-engine wide bodies that offer long range with lower operating costs. Secondly, cost and return on investment are crucial factors that Airbus will need to consider, which is also tied to market demand. New aircraft programs can cost upwards of $15 billion to develop. Airbus would need to justify this expense by projecting strong long-term demand typically 400-plus aircraft, to recover R&D and production costs. Furthermore, airlines and manufacturers continue to face growing pressure to reduce emissions. Any new aircraft, including a hypothetical A390, would need to feature next-generation engines, lightweight composites, and advanced aerodynamics to meet tightening emissions regulations. Seeing as reducing emissions is often closely tied to increasing efficiency and lowering fuel burn, this metric is a natural win-win for airlines and the environment. By the mid-2030s, many A330s and early 777s will reach retirement age. A new wide body could capitalize on this upcoming transition, especially if it offers more efficient performance and is built to accommodate SAF or hydrogen advancements. Before Airbus even considers launching a clean-sheet wide body like the A390, it's worth examining what the manufacturer already has on its plate. Currently, Airbus is focusing heavily on its existing product lines, particularly the A320neo and A350 families. There's also its Airbus Zero E initiative, which aims to produce the world's first zero-emissions commercial aircraft by 2035. This program encompasses multiple concept designs, including turboprop, turbofan, and blended wing body aircraft. While not directly related to wide bodies, it shows where Airbus is concentrating its R&D capital in the near future, and that may delay any new wide-body project like our hypothetical A390. 
Airbus has also rolled out incremental improvements to the A350, such as increased maximum takeoff weight variants and cabin flexibility upgrades. These steps are meant to keep the A350 family competitive for years to come, potentially pushing the A390 idea into the next decade, if at all. Here are a few of the most relevant considerations when launching a new aircraft program. Airline demand, fuel efficiency, infrastructure compatibility, and environmental regulations. For now, Airbus appears more focused on improving its flagship A350 and investing in hydrogen-powered aircraft for future decades. However, should the market shift, this balance could change, especially if Boeing gains ground with the 777X or launches its own new clean-sheet widebody. So far, Airbus executives have essentially said nothing of an A390. Their strategic updates emphasize incremental updates to existing models, sustainability efforts, and digitalization in manufacturing. The latest news regarding a new Airbus jet comes from Chief Executive Guillaume Fauhy, who publicly spoke about plans for a new generation narrow body. At the 2023 Paris Air Show, Fauhy confirmed that the company is targeting the second half of the 2030s for the entry into service of a new generation narrow body aircraft. This future model is expected to succeed the A320neo family and will incorporate significant technological advancements. Airbus is currently evaluating whether the aircraft will be powered conventionally or developed around hydrogen propulsion as part of its broader commitment to decarbonizing aviation. While no final decision has been made, the timeline aligns closely with Airbus's zero-e hydrogen demonstrator goals – indicating that sustainability will play a central role in the new program's design. Strangely enough, some industry insiders have hinted at the possibility that the manufacturer will officially announce the long-rumoured A390 later this year, although we're not holding our breath. The predominant belief is that the A390 would likely be a large twin jet, combining the size benefits of the A380 with the operating economics of the A350. So, you know something close to the 779. However, it might even become the first wide body with built-in hydrogen capability, depending on its timeline and Airbus's sustainability goals. Airlines may look for features like dual SAF hydrogen compatibility, significantly lower maintenance requirements, and advanced digital flight systems that can reduce pilot workload and improve fuel planning. Cabin innovations, such as increased humidity, lower noise levels and modular seating zones, may also influence future widebody design decisions. Ultimately, for a new widebody to be viable, it has to offer large improvements in operating efficiency, passenger appeal and environmental compliance. If Airbus believes it can integrate all three, and airlines indicate clear demand, the A390 or its equivalent might one day move from theory to tarmac. Even if Airbus had a compelling design in hand, there are still notable risks. Firstly, launching a new aircraft from scratch involves massive capital outlays and long lead times. Changing market priorities could also pose a risk to the program. Passenger demand has mostly been shifting toward point-to-point -point travel and smaller aircraft with high frequency. This undermines the traditional rationale for ultra-large jets. Lastly, technological progress is an important risk to factor in. If Airbus wants to incorporate hydrogen or SAF into a new airframe, it may be better to wait until those technologies mature, perhaps in the 2040s, rather than rush development today. And so, unless Airbus sees a technological or economic breakthrough, the A390 concept, as some are envisioning, may remain shelved in favour of smaller evolutions and sustainable aviation projects. For the time being, Airbus appears fully committed to the A320neo, A330neo and A350 families, and its long-term strategy is tightly aligned with sustainability, particularly through the Zero E Hydrogen project and future SAF-ready platforms. That said, as fleet retirements accelerate and long-haul demand continues to grow, there may eventually be room for a new high-capacity widebody. If and when Airbus feels confident that market trends, environmental compliance and airline economics support such a move, we may hear about something like an A390.
But what do you think? Will an A390 be a big jet? And when do you think Airbus would launch such a program? Let us know by leaving a comment. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. Visit simpleflying.com.